wearing black, officially weighing 98 kilograms. His professional ring fighting record, 40 fights, 36 victories, including 22 knockouts with four defeats. From Paris, France, the challenger, former cruiserweight, champion of the world, the fighting bride of all France, Jean-Marc, the marksman, Mommy! And fighting out of the red corner with his trainer, Hall of Famer Emmanuel Stewart, wearing red with gold, weighing in officially at 111 kilograms. This Olympic gold medal champion now has a professional fighting record consisting of 59 fights, 56 victories with 49 knockouts and three defeats. From Hamburg, Germany and Kiev, Ukraine, the three-time world champion, the reigning, defending IBF, IBO, WBA, WBO, heavyweight champion of the world, the Weltmeister im Schwergewicht, Dr. Steel Hammer, Vladimir Klitschko! Well, the moment of truth is here for Jean-Marc Mormek. Is he strong enough? Can he summon up the power to put any pressure at all here on Vladimir Klitschko? Brilliant cruiserweight. A former cruiserweight world champion, but now here he is fighting for the heavyweight championship of the world against a man who's on a 14-fight winning streak over eight years. So we're underway. Vladimir Klitschko looking for knockout number 50 of his career. Mormek has speed, can be elusive. And in his heavyweight career so far, has tried to get inside, hit, and then get out. Will he be able to do that here? It would seem unlikely. Klitschko, a prohibitive favourite for this. Mormek already. Gonna make himself hard to hit. Already the crowd not liking that. And there's a pattern to a fight. forward and referee just telling Klitschko not to force his head down because that was uh, exactly what happened in the fight against David Hay. Klitschko needs to get those long levers working. Jab stunned into the face there of Mormek. Mormek at 39 been in plenty of rings before and he knows how to protect himself. The crowd don't like it of course but Mormek has to fight his fight. The referee already Carlos Pavon is uh, being called upon here. What a scrappy opening to the fight. Chopping left hand there from Klitschko. to be anything but a standing target. And that's what he's trying to do, continually move. Let's go. Lost 
misses his fight from behind that left jab. There it is into the face of Mormek. Follows it up with the right cross there, Klitschko. Klitschko bounding forward. Ominously there. Now he's into his rhythm here, Klitschko. He's done more work. Warbeck trying to survive. And he has done. Just keep him out here. Keep him out. And just keep him out. And he's terrained himself already, so just keep him out here. And occasionally try to uppercut a little bit at him. But he's tired now. And when he come in, create a little space, because he's going to be all over the place now. He's tired already. You can look That's at him, he's totally tired. He's going out already. He came out the whole hype, but you shut him down. Now keep him at the distance where you want to fight him at. That you don't have to get to a Just create a little space and keep him out there. And just keep doing what you're doing. It's a matter of time. And uh, we've Good heard round. those words before from Emmanuel Stewart. It's a matter of time. his belt and encouraging words from his corner it's only a matter of time I must say it does rather feel like that unless Mormek can really pull off something sensational then he comes forward with his head down the referee's been a busy man in the opening round and a bit to fire anything he has to get in close he has to be able to reach Klitschko and that's not easily done particularly not easily done when Klitschko is jamming that left jab into your face it does wear you down good shot there from Klitschko already Mormek seems to be struggling with his power Uh, French television colleagues the ringside. We almost look blatantly over at them. Then. Often seen him working in his Klitschko fights for French television, but there he is in the ring. Big chance of Warbeck caught with the right, and he's gone down. Down in the second, the right hand from Klitschko. Takes the count of eight, turns his back, ready to resume. In trouble already in the second, Mormack Klitschko will sense the finish is nearly that. Even then he was looking at his colleagues from French TV when he was down on the campus. His head doesn't seem to be in the right place at all here, Mormack. Straight right from Klitschko, that hurts more than the left hand. Warbeck can't cope with the power. To quote Emmanuel Stewart, I think it is only a matter of time here. Chopping right from Klitschko. Seconds of the second round. Klitschko looking to throw that right. Ten-eight 
Ryan. Normack well behind already. And will he last another? I'm not sure, I have to say. That was the right hand that put him down. That will be the shot all night long, of course. Klitschko looking for his 50th knockout of a storied career. These are the kind of stories he likes, and he's dominating. So far, it's one-sided, it's predictable. I'm afraid it doesn't look much of a match, but the question is who they meant to fight the Klitschkos, the likes of Seth Mitchell, Chris Ariola, David Price and Tyson Fury. Not ready yet. Povetkin maybe not ready yet. Delaney is the same. And so he stays busy, Klitschko, by fighting Normek. Normek gets his shot. There's nothing a great deal with it. knows he has the measure of his man. Once again, the Puerto Rican referee just breaks the... Love the cut there from Warbeck. That was the shot that Emmanuel Stewart told him to look out for. But Warbeck was vulnerable to that. Left to open it up, and the right hand, and a left hook from Klitschko. Warbeck again, looked a little bit shaky. Klitschko knows as long as Mormek's in there that he's still a danger. Not looking like much of one at the moment, I'm afraid. So that right hand again. Mormek's guard just about saved him there, and then Mormek threw a shot that momentarily moved Klitschko backwards. Space, just a little bit. You're good, you're sloppy. He, he's coming in, you're doing this. He's coming just create a little space and keep him out there where he can't find you and land your clean punches and keep him moving a little bit. But so you it's, it's very sloppy now. You just he's coming in and it's gonna be like Sam Peters was, and all you had to do is get a little space and let you try an uppercut or two. It's there. You need to try it. He's right here all the time. You uppercut either chin to the body. Just he's not punching back. It's not like you're he's a guy that's gonna counter punch. When he punches okay. at you, he has... Down. You don't need that. You don't need don't that. Don't push him down because I just one point. Okay. okay. You don't have to. Just keep him away. 
His legs is gone. You just you're, you're holding him up. Create a little space. Create the message. Create the space to find the shot to finish it. Bearing it to Samuel Peter. Because he got Peter out in the tenth. This might be earlier.
What could be next, of course, might be David Hay against Vitali Klitschko. There are rumours that the deal has been agreed. That's what Hay's saying, anyway. And that maybe is the only realistic fight out there at the moment. Vitali wanting to finish what his brother started in Hamburg last summer. The official announcements from uh, Michael Buffer and interviews with both fighters as well. I'm not sure there's going to be a great deal to say. But there's the uh, ring heavyweight belt, ring magazine. And there's a disconsolate looking Mormek corner. But the Klitschko's, of course, <laughs> celebrating as they've every right to, and as they often do. Pretty much always do. So a sold out arena. And another dominant, never in doubt performance. Nice little post fight moments between the two brothers. His own uh, wrappings. Before we have the uh, official announcement, off they will come quite comfortably. He seemed to be a bit uncomfortable, didn't he, with them? Wanted to get them off. Whether he's hurt his hand, I don't know. Fighter cutting off his own wrappings like that. <laughs> There's uh, the manager, Bert Bernter, man with the grey hair. Is plotting the next fight for both men. And at least Mormek, well, to his credit, was in good shape, nearing the age of 40. He came and gave it a shot, but he never looked like he had um, a chance. I just want to say to that. And there he salutes that corner of the arena as well. Such a popular fella and such a good player of a crowd as well. Still the champion, Vladimir Klitschko. 35 year old at the top of his profession. Explosive night's work, which is what the crowd wanted, and a win as well, which is. Really good night for Vladimir Klitschko. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, from Michael Buffer. Madame and Antoine, ladies and gentlemen, mesdames and messieurs, the prediction and the promise was made and it has been kept. Knockout number 50 is in the record books as referee Luis Pabon reaches the count of 10 at one minute. 12 seconds of round number four, the winner by KO victory, and still, IBF, IBO, WBA, WBO, heavyweight champion of the world, Dr. Steel Hammer, Vladimir.
likes of that. They are all on their feet. I wonder what's going through his mind. I wonder if it's maybe going through it is. Could he have done anything differently? That's the way that it finished. Never could stand up to the power. So we can hear now from. Uh, ja, Vladimir, versprochen ist versprochen der 50. K.O. Wie stolz sind Sie darauf, dass Sie das halten konnten? Ich möchte zuerst das Publikum begrüßen. Ihr seid da. Und das ist für mich das größte Tag. Der größte Tag. Vielen Dank, dass ihr dabei wart. Hier in die ersten Reihen und ganz oben da in die letzten Reihen. Vielen Dank, dass ihr dabei wart bei meinem 50. Knockout. Ich bin schon seit 15 Jahren unterwegs im Sport und ich habe versucht, alles zu tun, dass ich dann 50. Knockout feiere. Und jetzt ist der Tag. Am 10. Dezember hat es leider nie geklappt. Ich weiß, der Weg zu diesem Kampf war sehr lang, nicht nur für mich, sondern auch für euch. Aber dafür nochmal vielen, vielen Dank. He said, uh, thanks very, very much. I'm sorry it wasn't der verdiente Applaus. More dramatic for you, but Ein thanks sehr very much all the same. eindeutiger Sieg, ganz klar, von Anfang an mit ganz klaren Treffern. Da bietet sich die Frage an, was war denn heute anstrengender? Der Kampf oder das Aufwärmtraining mit Emmanuel Stewart? Die Strategie von dem so Gegner gewesen, mich müde zu machen und der möchte unbedingt the, durch die ersten Runden mich anmarschieren und natürlich müde machen. Aber äh, es, er hat versucht, dann ab dritter Runde oder ab zweiter Runde zu, zu feuern und ähm, es war ein kleiner Jab, den ich habe gekriegt habe in die linke Auge. Das brennt gerade noch. Said, uh, Aber ansonsten, ich habe den Kampf dominiert und ich habe mich gut auf diesen Kampf angestellt. But, uh, Inwiefern hat er versucht, end, einfach nur zu überleben? Was glauben Sie? Bitte? Inwiefern hat er versucht, einfach nur über die Runden zu kommen? Oder hatten Sie das Gefühl, wenn Sie ihn angeguckt haben, der will auch gewinnen? Der will gewinnen, der möchte der erste Weltmeister in Geschichte so, Frankreich zu sein. Wir haben viele französische no, Stars auch, sind am Ring dabei. Ich möchte auch schon nicht alle nennen, sonst haben wir vergessen. Das. Aber auf jeden Fall, er hat eine tolle Unterstützung von zu Hause und äh, er hat natürlich alles, alles well. versucht und alles gegeben. Es ist unglaublich schwer, die ganzen well. Gürtel immer allein zu tragen. Deswegen hatten Sie heute Unterstützung von einem kleinen Jungen. Können Sie uns kurz erklären, wer der kleine Junge denn war? Den haben wir ja alle gesehen. Alex, come over. Said, uh, ich wollte nur gerade vorstellen, sonst viele wundern sich, was macht der Kind auf meine Schultern. Der kleine Junge heißt Alex, der kommt aus San Francisco. Der ist ähm, ein riesen Klitschko-Fan schon Alex seit Jahren und hat versucht, mich persönlich zu treffen. Leider konnte es nicht klappen. Ähm, Alex ist leider tödlich krank. Es sei nur gewesen, Ill. einfach den Stamm zu treffen. Und äh, ich habe ihn gefragt, möchtest du asked, vielleicht in Düsseldorf bei meinem hoffentlich 5. Knockout dabei sein und eine von meinen vielen Gurten tragen? Hat er zugestimmt, zugesagt, knockout. heute ist er dabei. And, uh, und I ich wünsche, yes. dass Alex so weiterkämpft und wirklich sehr viele Jahre seines Lebens noch hat. Und and, and this, this cheering, this cheering is for you, Axel. Alex, that's for you. Alex, is your applause, how proud are you wearing the belt of one of your idols? The best thing in my life. How do you like this atmosphere here in this football arena in Germany? It's amazing. Okay, thank you so much. And I cross all my fingers for you, Alex. Thank you so much. Danke schön auch, Vladimir. Wo haben wir denn den Vitali? Den möchte man natürlich auch gerne mal hören. Normalerweise zittert der Bruder immer ein bisschen mit beim Kampf, aber ich glaube, heute hielt sich das Zittern in Grenzen, oder Vitali? Ich bin sehr glücklich und möchte ich noch einmal viele äh, Dankeschön sagen für alle, die zu Marina gekommen sind, Vladimir zu unterstützen. Dankeschön. Und. Äh, sehr verständlich. Vladimir war so gut drauf, habe ich ein paar Wochen zusammen mit Vladimir ein Trainingscamp verbracht. Er war in super Verfassung und deswegen habe ich erwartet, ihm vorzeitig Sieg. Viele Gegner sind im Schwergewicht nicht mehr übrig. Einer heißt David Hay, da können wir gleich weitermachen. Das Versprechen, wer das das Versprechen, dass wir Sie das nächste Mal mit David Hay im Ring zusammen sehen? Ich hoffe, der nächste Kampf wird und der nächste Gegner wird David Hay heißen. And he said, Danke I think my Vitali. next fight is going to be against David Hay. I think that's what's coming next. So there's some interesting news, potentially. And he said that with some certainty, didn't he, Vitali? And there they are with the belts, the two brothers. They pretty much own this division. 
We are now going to hear from uh, Jean-Marc Mormek as well. Before we leave you, Vladimir Klitschko retaining his title with a fourth round knockout of the Frenchman. Emotional story with the young boy Alex from San Francisco, isn't it? And it really uh, shows you again. They never ask for credit, these two, but they do so much amazing work, the Klitschkos. And it was a lovely moment when he said, this cheering's for you, wasn't it? And the little boy's face lit up. So now we're going to hear Jean-Marc Morbeck. Ja, nicht wundern, ich spreche ihn auf Deutsch an. Er hat das Ganze übersetzt, denn er spricht kein Englisch und äh, muss sich das erst anhören. So, Jean-Marc, erstmal, es war ein schwerer K.O. Wie geht's Ihnen gerade? Ich bin sehr gut, Dennoch, äh, Sie haben okay. viele Treffer abbekommen. Haben Sie den Gegner so stark erwartet? Nein, es war ich habe mich aber... Yeah, Sincèrement, true, I was beaten. je pense que j'ai. Uh, C'était quand même assez prématuré là. L'arrêt était quand même assez prématuré pour moi. Wir haben gesehen, sie sind immer nach vorne in ihn reingegangen, aber haben, glaube ich, sehr, sehr wenig geschlagen. Was war eigentlich die Strategie? Le truc, c'est que je devais me désaxer, mais c'est vrai qu'à chaque fois je rentrais, c'est quand même, il est quand même, c'est vrai, il est difficile à boxer parce qu'il est très grand, il me sature à chaque fois. Donc, je pensais que l'arbitre allait peut-être, peut-être plus intervenir que ça, parce qu'à la rigueur, c'est un combat de boxe, il peut avoir un corps à corps. À chaque fois, je suis saturé, donc je pensais que l'arbitre allait réagir. J'ai pris un premier coup où j'ai été touché, le deuxième coup, je suis touché, mais je suis pas sonné. Je pense que l'arbitre, il me lève pour, pour, parce que c'est parce que la fin du round, et puis il m'arrête. Là, vraiment, vraiment, je suis pas, Je suis un peu frustré. Il, il frappe, mais pour dire que j'ai des KO, là, je pense que c'est un peu prématuré, vraiment. Sie waren im Cruisergewicht Weltmeister. War vielleicht doch der Gewichtsunterschied dann am Ende zu groß oder die falsche Gewichtsklasse? Non, je pense qu'il bien sûr il y a une différence de poids parce qu'il est beaucoup plus lourd. Il frappe, c'est vrai, il frappe plus fort. Mais à la rigueur. Ça aurait été un cas honnête, vous aurez pu, même vous pour vous, vous aurez pu dire c'est euh, flagrant. J'ai été relevé, j'étais debout, là je peux vous parler, so big, je suis debout. But... Non, franchement, là c'était pas. Ce, ce coup-là, il c'était pas bon, vraiment. Vielen uh, Dank, merci beaucoup, Jean-Marc Mormek, et je gebe weiter zu Nasan Eck, est-ce qu'il y a un Gesprächspartner? So that's the